into how to develop the village's center. Construction to improve infrastructure on Spring Street right by the water mill getting underway this week. Rachel Alzafon is live right now. She's in Williamsville and she has the very latest. Rachel. Yeah, Laura, you can actually see the construction cones, a crane behind me. This entire street is going to look completely different fairly soon. And joining me to talk about that is Williamsville's Deputy Mayor, Chris DuQuinn. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, first of all, can you describe the work that's being done here? It's going to look very, very different. Yeah, right now this is a back alley, and it's really just um, a commercial strip that uh, got left here. It's from the 1811 uh, watermill behind us. And when we get done with it, this is going to be a community street. Um, and it's going to be built in green infrastructure, which means that all of that water that's now running off of Main Street, all of the contaminants that come from the cars, the salt and that, that currently runs directly into Glen Paul, over Glen Falls and into, uh, into Ellicott Creek, we're going to take care of it. It will be clean by the time it gets to Ellicott Creek when we're done with this project. I know the environmental concerns are a big point of that. We actually have some pictures we can pull up showing some of those changes. Um, can you tell me, what it, can you describe what is it that people are going to see as they're driving down Spring Street. Right, right now they see nothing, but soon we're going to have a brand new paved road. We're going to have a plaza in front of the mill um, with pavers and stuff like that, a place for our farmers market. They're going to see rain gardens and bioswales, new lights. They're going to see an absolutely perfectly rebuilt street uh, right here in the village of Wimsel. And you said this is a $3 million project? This is a $3 million project. Um, what has happened in New York State is if you couple green infrastructure projects with economic development, um, the state is willing to give you money to do them. So we have grants from a number of different agencies along with um, some money from Senator Ranzenhofer as well. Thank you very much, Chris. And coming up in at 6, we're going to talk about not just the development plan for Spring Street, but also how this is all going to play into Main Street development. Again, that's coming up in the next half hour. Live in Williamsville, Rachel Elzefan, 7 Eyewitness News. Laura? All right, thank you, Rachel.